it's been impacting slowly because when it first came on, it was very much sold on fear, 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 you could be fined millions of euros. And the reality is very few people have been. Facebook and Google famously have been. Um, quite a lot of direct sales people have been for making nuisance phone calls, spam texts, that sort of thing. And I think there's a lot more of that to come, but I don't think that's the real impact of it in B to C. I think that more and more consumers are coming to resent being cold contacted, cold mailed, cold phoned. Previously, we thought it was a nuisance because there was so much of it. And now I think many of us think it's a nuisance if it happens at all. It's partly a shift that comes out of this GDPR change, and it's partly coinciding with different generations having different communication preferences. So I'm the world's oldest millennial. Um, I'm not technically a millennial, my children are millennials, because I like my communications to be prearranged. I find the phone and people texting me very interruptive. And I think alongside the GDPR shift, we are moving from a, a, the old interrupt marketing, let me phone you when you're trying to get the kids to bed, let me send you an email when you're struggling to meet a deadline, towards a more permission-based when would be a good time for us to call. Part of that's legally driven, and part of that is having digital native generations who know how to block you, know how to get rid of you. In the end, the only people who are getting cold telephone calls are poor old pensioners who don't know how to block them.